So we have a lot of challenges as teachers these days. We are experts in teaching and we want to do the right thing for our students to make sure that they learn. One of the things that we like to do when we're teaching is get students to collaborate, to work with each other, to share ideas, and to make sure that every voice is being heard in the classroom. The problem we have nowadays, of course, <clears throat> is that we don't have a classroom. Right now our classrooms are empty because we're facing a worldwide pandemic. So is there a way that we can still have collaboration, that we can still teach, and that we can still effectively have voices heard throughout the classroom? There is, and that's what this video is about. It's a tool called Padlet. Okay, so let's take a look at Padlet. Really great tool, and the good news is that it's very easy to use, but it's very effective in a classroom. Now, um, when you first go to Padlet, you go to padlet.com, you'll be asked to sign in and create an account, and then you can log in with that account, and you'll receive some free Padlets. And that gives you the ability to get familiar with the product and start using it in your class. Um, of course, like all products, there's an upgrade available. You can get unlimited Padlets for, um, I think it's $8 a month if you buy a year in advance, and $10 a month if you, if you go month to month. So if you have some PD funds, maybe you can use it for Padlet once you've determined whether you're adding value for your, for your particular environment. Now, uh, that being said, you can also get free Padlets, additionals, so you get three to start with. You can get additional ones if you refer three people to use Padlet. Now, the only caveat to that <clears throat> is that you go in and you can go in to earn more. Uh, the only caveat to that is it has to be people you know. So, for example, it would be in violation of their agreement here for me to put a link in this YouTube video. So I can't do that. If you know me, send me an email. I'll be happy to let you know uh, where you can get uh, a, a reference to Padlet. Anyways, that, that's irrelevant. You can go in and you can, you can upgrade if you're using it a lot. Um, and I intend to upgrade. So if I go in, let's, let's go ahead and make a Padlet. But before I make one, I can make one, I can join one. Let's have a look at the gallery of some existing Padlets so that we kind of have a vision of where we're going. I want to show you a couple of them. So underneath the Padlets here, <clears throat> there's a whole bunch of great examples in here. Let's have a look at this book report by fifth graders. So if I go in here, a couple of things you'll notice off the top. One, you'll notice there's an icon of some books here. You'll notice it has a title. You'll notice that there's a nice background of books. So this is all aesthetically pleasing. So it is a cork board, but in this case, it's a cork board with a big background of books. You'll notice that I have three kind of sticky notes on here and that they're long, as long as they need to be. So these sticky notes can expand to be as big as they need to be. And if I scroll down even further, you'll notice that the sticky notes also contain some images. So you can put images in here. You can actually attach all sorts of different uh, items to your Padlet. I can also rearrange how these things look. So I can go into this little ellipse here and I can copy this post and I can expand it out. If I expand it out, I can scroll down and I can see the uh, report here. So this might be easier for somebody to type like this and then it shows up as a little Padlet there. I can even view the original if I wanna find out where the source was for that particular uh, book. And I can then, of course, come back and close the expanded view and get my Padlet view. Really cool Padlet. And these things, uh, in terms of the Padlets themselves, um, you can see that I can copy stuff from them. I can actually remake it, which would uh, I can copy this into a new Padlet. I'll talk about that later. <clears throat> but uh, that's a good example of one Padlet. Let's go back to the gallery and let's have a look at a different one. Here's how to train for your first marathon. Again, marathon picture in the background, and here we have columns, right? So we have the basics, the gear, the training, the nutrition, and you'll notice that I can scroll sideways, and this has been arranged in columns, and then I can go in, and I can review all the basics, and I can review all the gear, and I can review all the training, and so it's really quite handy, and, um, and that's an example of, of yet another Padlet. And let's just take a random one in here. Let's go into the can. Oh, that's, I don't want to do a Kanban board because it's really columns as well. Let's have a look at, say, a human resources one. I've never seen this one before. Yep, there we have a bunch of little, you know, Padlets around here where we have the different, uh, uh, different guys in here. Again, the ellipse. I can expand it. I can copy it. You see that there's a form here that I can grab here. So there's quite a lot uh, uh, that I can do with the different Padlets. So... There's some good examples that you can use as a starting point for your own uh, your own creative needs. Okay, so I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go back to just Padlet.com where I can create a Padlet. 
and I'm going to go ahead and create and I have some choices of what I want to do. So here I can create a wall where it's just a, a bunch of different uh, post-it notes. I call them post-it notes, but you know, they're padlets. Uh, I can put them wherever I want on a board. I can have a canvas where it, this is good for the, um, for like, uh, if I was doing a post-it note exercise on the board, I can select this one here and I can go in, fill out the information, and then I can just go ahead and, and put different padlets on there. I'm going to actually go in and close this and go back. Um, I just want to talk about some of the different ones I can create. I can create a stream, which is just like scrolling up uh, from uh, top to bottom, bottom to top. I can create a grid where everything is arranged in boxes. Uh, shelf, that's an example of like the marathon one that I created. Uh, this is a back channel where we can have basically a chat. I don't use this one very often because I tend to use chat in the um, Microsoft Teams is the program that I'm using for my remote teaching right now and it has a chat function in it so I don't usually need this one. A map one I haven't experimented a lot with but it's kind of a neat thing that would be great obviously for a geography lesson or a, a econ economics lesson or any of those types of things and a timeline which would be great for things like history or well, I mean these have kind of unlimited uses. I'm just going to create a uh, 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 I'm just going to create one now. I'm just going to create a canvas, right? Where we can play around with the information here. I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to call this uh, learning and technology. So maybe I want to create a Padlet where we brainstorm on learning and technology. And I can say description. This Padlet is to discuss different learning technology tools. Just like the YouTube channel you're watching. I can put an icon on here and you can see I get a um, number of different icons in here. <clears throat> if I want, I can go in and choose, you know, uh, add my own icon in there if I want to. So I could put my logo in there, for example. Um, I could do, you know, different objects and stuff in here. Um, obviously can have animals, right? Uh, different, you know, all the, all the different things that you might want in here. So you can see transportation, ideas and such. So I'm going to go into ideas and because this is technology, um, I'm going to spend hours searching for it. I'll just put a random one in there. It doesn't really matter what I have in there for the purpose of this. Now here, this is the address, a unique address to the Padlet. So it's going to be padlet.com slash frank168. So the other 167 francs uh, won't get confused with me. And then this is the, the unique code that it generated. And I can change this if I want. So I could call this, for example, Tech Talk. And that's maybe a little bit easier uh, to send out to students. Um, obviously, Frank168 is a little bit odd, but depending on what you sign up with, your username could be different. So this is Frank168 Tech Talk. And I can actually copy that out to my... Um, Clipboard, I'm going to share it later on and show you that. Um, I can go in and create a wallpaper. So underneath here, I can have pictures. I can add my own picture. So if I go in here, I can upload a picture. I can take a photo, whatever I might want to do. I can draw on there. So I'll just pick a file and I'll just go to my learning and technology file on there. And I'll just throw that on there. Um, so we have that in there. I can customize it. Um, again, all sorts of cool stuff there in terms of the wallpaper. Um, I can go in with attribution so I can put, I like this quite a lot. I can put the name of the author on top of each post. So whoever comes in and posts to the Padlet, their name will appear on the top of the post. Um, we can allow people to make comments. So if we're doing a discussion where I want to say, I'm going to post up an idea and people can then comment on my idea. We can also have reactions. So we can have reactions like a like or a vote, upvote, downvote, a star, one to five stars, or we can even give a numeric score. I'm just going to have this simple. You can like it or not like it. <clears throat> Actually, you can't not like it. You can like it or you can leave it blank. Okay. Um, you can also, if you're in a situation where you may have more disruptive students, you can require approval prior to allowing that uh, note to be stuck on there. <clears throat> and we can replace bad words with nice emojis. So I'll go next on that. So now I've got it. So there's my Padlet with my icon, the name of it, and I've got the background and I can just start posting. So all you do, it's quite simple. You just say, I'd like to post something. Notice my name is there. So the attribution is there <coughs> and Padlet. And I could write something like, you know, Padlet facilitates, oh, go back in here. 
Padlet facilitates communication at a distance, but together. So, okay, I'm jumping back in. So uh, sorry if it's a, a little bit of a cut there. I just finished writing the uh, but a distance but together. But one of the things I also wanted to show you that I forgot to do the first time I recorded the video is underneath here, I can upload information in here. So I can go and do an upload. I can actually pick a file and drag a com uh, any file from my computer. So if I've been working in something like Notepad, so if I was working in Notepad and I had gone in and I just grab it from this other screen here. And if I said, uh, you know, hello world, or I had some code on here, like say, for example, I was teaching a programming course. I'm just going to save this as a notepad document, save it to my desktop where all the cool kids put all their work. And I'm going to say demo for Padlet. So I've got this file here and I can actually pick that file. I can go to my desktop. I can grab the demo for Padlet and I can actually go ahead and drag that and do it as an upload. And you'll see here that my little hello world, and this can be really helpful if I'm teaching programming or something. Um, I can also go into this document so I can say, okay, I want that in there. And I can, you know, there's the hello world. I see it in there. Um, I can get rid of it if I want. Um, I, of course, if I put it in there, I can keep it in there. I just want, I can put a link in there. I can put a hyperlink in there. I can go in and do a Google. So if I go in here and do a video or a GIF, so I do a Google, I can do a Google search. I can do a Google uh, resource that I can put in there. I'll just call it doing a Google. I can go in and put an image in there from the camera, right? So I can wave, right? Boom, take a picture there. So you can see that I actually work with a green screen normally. So I can put the image in there and then that image will wind up being as part of my Padlet as well. Uh, I chose just to not insert it. And I can do all of these different things. I can put voice in there. I can put film from my camera. I can put, you know, so there's so many things that I can add there. Anyways, I forgot to record that the first time I did this because I was so excited about the other features. So I'm just going to pop that in here. Let's get back to our regularly scheduled video. You can put that on there. Now, one of the things you can do with these Padlets is you can run these in real time. So you could have a class where you're talking and the whole class can come onto the Padlet and these will just go pop, 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 pop. It's really cool to see. Or you could have something and say, okay, by the time we come into the next class, please put something onto the Padlet and then you can see them you know, come in overnight and then the next day you can all come back to the Padlet and see what people have put in there. And then you can take these and you can rearrange them around because of the template that I chose. You can trash a, a delete the post if it's yours. <clears throat> you can go in and edit the post if it's yours. You can go into the ellipse. You can change the color of the sticky note. You can connect to another post. You can bring it to the front, send it to the back. So this is really good as an instructor if you want to highlight certain posts. You can transfer it over to another. So if I transfer it over, I can transfer it to a new Padlet. Um, or an existing Padlet, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I can go in and I can uh, expand it out if it was larger and I can delete the post. So you have a lot of options in terms of working with this simple sticky note. Now the real power of this of course comes when you have five or six or seven or 30 people all contributing to this Padlet at the same time. Um, I've seen it with groups as large as about 25 to 30 people working all at the same time. It, it's a little cumbersome because you have to make sure that, you know, people aren't posting on top of other people's Padlets, but it really gets quite exciting when, you know, people are trying to find a, you know, so they're moving stuff around, they're liking other Padlets. So you can go in and you can like it. You can make a comment on it. Uh, you know, great tool, Frank, right? So you can put that on there. By the way, you know what else you can do? You can like and subscribe to this video. So if you like this video, you can hit like and you can subscribe by hitting the subscribe button. That was a YouTube thing. Okay, so I, it just fit in. I didn't script that at all. It just worked out well. Okay, so, but, but do like and do subscribe. Okay, so if we go in here, so that's an example of the Padlet. Very, very powerful tool. Super simple to use. You can get started for free. I'm going to show you one more thing that's kind of a neat thing. If I go in here and let's say I've I've made a bunch of, uh, I'm just going to make some pretty simple ones in here. So I'll just add a bunch in really quickly and we'll add a bunch in here. And, and the reason I'm just adding a bunch in here is so that I can 
show you through. Let's do three. Not W. Let's do three spelt without three E's. Okay, so we can go in here. Nice thing about uh, YouTube is you can embarrass yourself in public. So if I go up here, I'm just going to drag all these different ones. I can arrange these around. Again, all the things that I, I just demonstrated to you, I can change the color. <clears throat> so I'll use color quite a bit. Let's say I'm wanting to collaborate on a subject where I'm saying, you know, let's say we're collaborating on things like what are the skills that are needed in order to do business analysis? And I might say, okay, all the yellow ones are skills related to leadership. All the blue ones are skills related to interpersonal skills. And all of the green ones are skills related to technical skills. Then what we can do is as people post their Padlets on there, we could say, okay, what do you think this is? Do you think this is a leadership skill? Or do you think this is a technical skill? Or do you think this is an interpersonal skill? And then we can have discussions around it and we can color code them and move them around. So it becomes very uh, a very powerful way of eliciting a discussion within a group in little bite-sized chunks, right? And it also, for those students that are a little less likely to participate in a classroom environment, this can be a real um, eradication of the barrier that uh, sometimes they put in, in front of themselves. So what you're doing is you're allowing them to participate because they don't have that nervousness of doing something in front of other classmates, even though they are. They're, they're directly in front of other classmates, but they don't have that, uh, the actual physical, uh, you know, walking up to the board and having to participate in that way. So this can actually bring a lot of people out of their shell. <clears throat> so it's a good thing. Okay, so I've created this Padlet. So I just want to show you this one other feature that I do find really useful. Let's say I've created an entire lesson plan where I've pre-populated a Padlet, and then I'm going to invite students in to discuss it. So I want to start it off with maybe some seed ideas and maybe I've got these here. Maybe I've got these padlets, but then I'm going to allow students to throw a bunch of their work in there. But then what I want to do is after the students have participated, I want to kind of clear off their work and create a, a sort of a new fresh template that my next class or my next discussion can use. I can hit this remake button and underneath the remake, what I can do is I can copy the design and I can copy the posts and attachments. If I copy the design, it'll keep all of my design elements. And then what I can do here is you can go in and I can also uh, either bring the same people in or I can you know, make it secret until I'm ready to sort of reveal it. Um, I can also go in and I can copy the authorship or maybe I want to bring over those posts, but I want to do is I don't want to copy the authorship. I don't want the names to appear because I'm going from one class to another. So there's a lot of cool things you can do there. So I'm just going to call it remake of learning and technology. When I submit that, it'll remake it. And now I'll have another, re and there you go. I've got the same Padlet, but now I can go in and, and use this as the uh, sort of the template uh, for further discussions or the next class I teach, so on and so forth. That's really helpful for anybody who wants to use sort of the same discussion, but they have maybe three or four uh, sections of the class. Uh, to share it, you can just click on share and you can add members to it, invite people to it. Or what you can do is all these things, you can copy the link to a clipboard, embed it, which I you can embed it. So for example, I'll often copy the link and then paste it into my team discussion and say, everybody, come on over to the Padlet. Let's go over there and have a discussion. Um, and that's more of a free form discussion as opposed to a structured or linear uh, discussion. Here we can have a non-linear discussion where people are, you know, sharing ideas all at the same time. Um, and there's some cool things you can do if you're working with Google Classroom. And I haven't done any videos on Google Classroom. I'm going to, if there's a demand for it, I tend to use Microsoft Teams, but I'm pretty, um, pretty um, interested in working with, uh, pretty adaptable and pretty interested in working with a lot of different technologies. You can even just save it out as an export. So if you want to save this in order to put that into the class notes, that can be very helpful. So I'll often save this as a PDF and then I'll put that into the classroom resource repository so that we have a copy of the Padlet that we worked on together. Okay, well, I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, then what you should do is like the video and subscribe to the channel and watch these other videos. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.